My name is Alexandra Orgira. Who am I? Who are you? That's a great question. Um, I think whenever I'm asked that question, I always start by saying I'm a generalist. Uh, so I have a lot of different interests, and I've never really been able to call myself one thing. I enjoy, um, you know, trying things. I enjoy many different artistic. Uh, pursuits so I just thought let me try something different like I'm just gonna try pinhole photography the process itself what's I guess the first part is a pinhole camera is any camera you make yourself that doesn't have a lens instead of having a lens on it it just has a tiny hole any container um, that has you know a lid or in some way able to be made light tight can be a pinhole camera. The first step is the technical challenge of how do I take a container and turn it into a camera. You can use anything light sensitive in the back of this tin to, to record the image. So, But what's more common just because it's a little bit more affordable and easier to work with is to use a piece of photographic paper which is paper that's been coated with light sensitive chemistry and it's traditionally used in the photographic darkroom so that when you shine light through a negative you're actually making a print that way by shining light onto paper and then you develop the paper and magically all of these silver molecules appear and make your print for you. So from a, a maker's perspective it's absolutely invaluable to me and I love it and I love what I'm using there and it's working great. Um, something like this I put a piece of paper in here, I, I take it on a hike with me, I get one pull, right, so I decide this is the vista that I'm interested in, I make the exposure, and it might not be until a few days later that I run it through the chemistry and I see the image, and that's the final image. Um, when I'm ready to take a shot, I'll use a light meter to take a meter reading, kind of get a sense for how long I need to expose it. Um, the exposure itself basically is just revealing the hole, right, which in this case is just taking off the little piece of tape that I usually keep over it. Um, and, and it has to be very still, so I'll try to find somewhere where it can sit and not be jostled by the wind or, or anything like that. I can't hold it, it has to sit on something. Exposures can take anywhere from a minute to an hour, as I said, depending on how much light there is. Um, and then I kind of will seal it back up and go about my time and then Either at home, if I want to do a few, what I can do is I'll, I'll bring um, a light tight bag with me that I can change the paper out on site, so I'll do that sometimes. Or I'll just wait at home and kind of collect a few sheets in a box. Um, and then when I'm ready to develop it, um, I usually will try, if I can, I'll try to wait until I have a few just to make it worth mixing up all the chemistry and stuff. Sometimes I've found, oh, this old paper I didn't even know was in here, and it's been a few months, and then I go and I run it through the chemistry and kind of see what it is. So it can be a long time between when you pull the, pull the trigger and when you see the image.